Tiffany Smith, the wonderful, the incredible. I was dancing for myself and then I clapped for myself. Yeah, so I mean, you should. Yeah. So one year anniversary to the day, yeah. apparently, uh, what was it called, Meghan Markle? Harry and Meghan. Hey, Harry royal. and Meghan. Yeah. Hey, okay, so that's perfect. So what yeah. a perfect day to celebrate. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. I gave her a last weekend gaming mug, of course. Yay. <laughs> we got to remember to have her sign the... the we do, we do. And especially since you swore today. Oh, I thought you added said I did. I was like, no, I'm no, not you sign didn't. It. Oh, not okay. yet. Yeah, we don't know if you'll so swear. So we can sell it for rent. I have a later. pretty, I have a pretty clean. This is gonna sound weird, but I have a pretty clean mouth. Good. Oh. That's good. <laughs> That's Harvard. good. Yeah. Harvard. Except for yeah. the popcorn you just ate. No. It's all of the popcorn. <laughs> all of it. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. Um, Mastermind says, "Hey, Tiffany, guys, if you do have questions for Tiffany, throw M our way. We will ask away. Yeah. This is your chance to chat with her and see what." questions you have. Yeah. yeah. So how did you get into acting? It seems so, like, okay, yeah, sorry to yeah, cut yeah, you yeah. off. No. Definitely seems like you started kind of on my side of things where you were more of a host yeah. and you did like some, you did some G4. We talked I about did, that. You did, did some hosting. Yeah. Um, how did you get started with that? And then what made you want to do the, the jump? So I went to school for broadcast journalism. Okay. And then I was like, I don't want to do hard news. I don't want to do sports. I want to yeah. do stuff that like brings people joy. Yeah. And for me, I always read comic books growing up and played video games and loved movies and TV. And so I was like, okay, I thought I wanted to work for like an entertainment network. Mm -hmm. And then G4 was like the goal, the dream yeah, goal. Yeah, the dream. And at the time I was doing car shows. So I was working for Ford and talking about like Mustangs and stuff because I grew up going to car shows with my dad. Nice. Um, so I was doing the car shows and every time I came to LA, I was like, hey, can we meet with the talent mm -hmm. people at G4? And they were like, until you live here, we can't do anything. Like, Damn it, so I hate that. <laughs> because I was born out here, I moved out and stayed with family and started Lucky. working there. Yeah, That's it was good. It, I feel like. It's one of those cliches that you hear, like, everyone in the industry, no one has the same story. Right. And mine really is not the same. <laughs> so, yeah, so I started working at G4 when I moved out here, and then it was awesome because it just kind of led to other things where it was like, okay, I worked at G4, and then people at Marvel knew that I read Marvel Comics, so yeah. I hosted the first, like, the first Avengers premiere. Oh, my carpet. God. was one of my first big premieres in L.A., and it was yeah. epic. Um, <laughs> I could only imagine. Yeah. yeah, that must have been incredible. Yeah, it was it was crazy because I remember, so I was supposed to just kind of do the, this person's arriving on the carpet in the limo. Right. Um, and then at the last second, they came up to me and they were like, so Kevin Feige doesn't want to announce the cast. Oh. He wants to be announced with the cast. And I was like, I'm going to announce the Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to go up and like name all of the cast and the character names. And literally, little me inside my head was like, this is insane. Bonkers. Yeah. That is yeah. incredible. What yeah. a thing to be like known to have done. <laughs> yeah, well, and it's like it's crazy because I remember when the last one came out, I felt super nostalgic because I was like, that was kind of when my career first started in LA. Mm -hmm. And it's cool to look at actors and see people who've grown. Like, I feel like all the hosts kind of in this Same. genre yeah. world. It's like we can watch each other's careers and how they grow and how I know. cool it is. How and, it evolves, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, because it is an ever-changing industry and all that. It really is. It so, really is. so did you get into acting because you were living in LA and, and started getting into that world, or was it something so, you always dreamed of doing? Yeah, like my my older sister, she did commercials when she was really young. Okay. And decided she didn't like them because she thought every time she watched them, that like you had to be away from your family. Like every time um, a commercial aired, she thought you had to actually go away. What? Yeah. So that's mama, the cutest yeah. thing ever. Was, and she didn't want to do that. So Oh my um, god, how old yeah. was your sister at the time? Um 47. Yeah. <laughs> she was really this old. was last year. She should have figured that out. I don't know. Um, <laughs> she's my sister. She's weird. I it must have been when we were so I moved from California when I was in fourth grade. Mm. Um so it must have been sometime it was before that. Oh, okay. Um and so my parents were like, no, we're gonna wait on the acting thing for you. And so I started hosting. And it was kind of one job after another, and it kept building. And I, I love hosting. Like, I love talking yeah. to people. I love learning about new things. And, you know, one of my favorite things is, like, getting a real genuine moment with someone. Like, yeah. you know, where it's like, when you see them, like, break, where it's like, I know. you're laughing together, or you do something embarrassing, and they feel comfortable to do it. Those are some of my favorite moments. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it started, you know, I wanted to act when I was younger, and then being on camera, and you get to go to so many sets. And yeah. I started having this. The only way I can describe it is like other jobs, there's a promotion where you get to like challenge yourself more mm -hmm. and like grow in different ways. And with hosting, you can still do that, but I was like, I felt like I wanted to like broaden a bit more. Get the next step. Yeah. yeah. And so I probably, like, it was funny because I looked back and you know, you always hear like overnight success. And right. I looked back and I'm like, I've been with my 
theatrical acting manager now for like six years. Oh my God. But I only really, really started like focusing on acting like two years ago. Okay. Um, so it was small stuff here and there when I first started out. And um, so it's kind of like finding that balance. And yeah. Yeah. So now it's, I still love doing both. Like I got to do um, the cast of your favorite Star Wars movie that just came out <gasps> oh, at sorry. freaking Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, awesome. Which was really, really cool. But I love the cast. Yeah, the cast is yeah. The cast killed it. I just anyway. They they (laughs) did. Um, So still, like, I still have awesome epic hosting moments, and Mm -hmm. then yeah, I see you still doing both. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So I mean, it's been it's been. I feel really really lucky because the other part of is you know when I came back from doing Harry and Meghan, the week I came back was the Shazam premiere. Oh yeah. And so I've become. I think it's one of those things in LA. It's like once you meet one nerd, it's like the door opens at this party, and all of the nerds of all Hollywood the nerds are, are there. there. <laughs> like um, that is true. And, yeah. And so I met Zach a really long time ago, and mm-hmm. so when I came back to LA through DC stuff, and then mm-hmm. knowing Zach, I went to the premiere, and I walked the carpet, and I was like, it was the coolest experience because. All of the people like asking right. questions were people I know really well and I've worked with and I've been on that side doing interviews alongside of them or gone to junkets and so it had a really like surreal moment like coming home you yeah. know where it's like I can talk about acting but it's with people that know me already mm-hmm. which is really really nice yeah super yeah. nice I remember at the premiere they had was it at the Shazam premiere where they had the Ferris wheel the carnival yeah, yeah the carnival it was really that cool. was cool that was very cool yeah, yeah. I saw your yeah. your posts because I follow you on Instagram <laughs> and stuff. Um, so you said gaming comics yeah where did you get started in that whole was it a hobby like what, so, who introduced you to it comics was my dad okay um, he read comic books growing up and because of you know I'm Mm multi-ethnic and so I obviously started with not obviously but I started reading X-Men yeah um, and Storm was I loved her because I'm like amazing she like she looks like me (laughs) yeah yeah you you always look for when you're a kid you always look for that character that you can emulate you can relate to yeah Um, and so I started actually watching the series with my dad and then he was like so if you want to read about these characters all the time, not just mm-hmm. when the cartoon's on, mm. he slipped me some comics. That's nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so that's kind of where the comic thing started. And I just, I mean, I love comics so much because I think it's one of the only mediums where you can tell every, I mean, you can do it in film, but it's like right. every version of a story. There's, you can do stuff that's really heavy in a way totally. that is more accessible. Like I remember reading Pride of Baghdad. And it's about a pride of lions during the war. And you're like, it deals with so much stuff because it's drawn so beautifully. Like, Mm -hmm. it it feels, it almost, like, opens you up easier than, you know, watching a film or reading a book about it. Um, And then you can have, like, sci-fi and fantasy and romance. And And different versions of the world you already love. But, yeah. Yeah. It's true about comics that I feel like they have this... um, kind of freedom. They don't have the restrictions of like film or making a game. Money wise, it's a lot cheaper to yeah. make comics. You're like, do I want a massive explosion? Yes. yes. It's, the same it's gonna price. happen. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Just use an artist who does all the other panels. Yeah. It's the yeah. same thing. So I feel like you're right in that they can explore more stories yeah. that, and there's no limit to what they can do. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean the fact that there's stuff now, you know, constantly on the New York Times bestseller list mm-hmm. that are graphic novels and I remember my sister was like, have you read this thing called Day Tripper? And I was oh. like, yes, I have. Because <laughs> um, it was on the New York Times bestseller list, and so she checked it out. Um, so, yeah, that was where comics started. And then video games. I think I started gaming a lot more when we moved to the East Coast because it was cold mm-hmm. and we had snow days. Oh, my gosh, yeah. And so, Do I remember those yeah, up in Canada? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I remember, like, my mom would be like, you have to go to bed. So we'd go upstairs, and then my sister and I would sneak back downstairs and play Sonic and yeah. Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin perfect. was my oh, favorite. Oh, Aladdin. Yeah. Aladdin. Yep. I loved Aladdin. Yeah. I did, too. I loved seeing um, the, when his, when, what's it called? The, the Cave of the Wonders. The Cave of Wonders. What's the yeah. Cave of Wonders. Called? Oh, the, the tiger guy? Yeah. I forget. The, <laughs> Diamond like, that guy. in the rough. Yeah. So that's yes. all I remember. Yeah. 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 I forget his name. I wanted to call him Shere Khan, but that's Jungle that's Book. The, yeah, that's yeah. Jungle Book. Yeah. yeah. Someone um, Google that. Fact check it for us in chat. Yeah. Awesome. Do it. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was that was where we where cool. it started. Um, you got your own consoles growing up, or not really? We had our first one was Sega Genesis. Oh, nice! And That's good. it was my sister and I. So Never we had, had that one. Okay, I, that was the only one we had. Oh, okay. Um, and I think because I like can't remember if that we're a huge Disney family. Okay. So I don't know if there were not if there was more Disney stuff at the time on possibly. Sega. Yeah, and possibly. Yeah. And so that was where it was like, and we wanted to play Sonic. Um, so yeah, so we did that, and then always on the road. I remember I first had like 
paper boy. Like oh, yeah. Little. <laughs> Way the, back. Paper yeah. boy. Yeah. I love paper um, boy. Because we went on a lot of road trips. And then I remember when I got the color game gear mm. that was bright blue. Yeah. And the screen was in color. And I was like, yeah. this is the coolest thing I ever. I was so yeah. jealous of everyone who had that thing. Yeah. It took like six the AA batteries. Yeah. Never yeah. had. Yeah. Last two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it wouldn't last at all. I found it the other day. And oh. it doesn't work. Oh. Aww. Aww. Like completely bro- bust. Uh. I loved the Power Rangers game. Yeah. Oh, mm. so much yeah. fun. So yeah. good. Yeah. Cool. So that's where I started with gaming. And, and then now, continued. Yeah. I play, I mean, I definitely have done the Halo times, you yes. know, and Call Love of it. Duty. And right now, I feel like I'm a lot more into tabletop gaming. You yes. Know, because I think, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. I just feel like there's so much. And yes, you can talk on headsets and you can connect with people, but there's so much disconnection between getting to really see a person and talk totally. with them that I love playing D&D and I love playing Magic because you get like four hours. Like one of my friends was like, we're going to do a one-day campaign. It starts at 10. You'll probably go home at 10. And I was like, this is awesome. Right. Because you get to see friends you don't get to see that long. And True. And you get to talk about life stuff but also play an awesome game. Yeah, spend so much time with them. Um, I remember we did like a Pathfinder game every lunch hour at IGN and yeah. that was like our way to connect and like yeah. get off the work stress, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, um, so you also talked about how you've been in the same kind of D&D team or group of people for like a year now? Yeah. How did this happen? So uh, I had never played D&D before, like probably like two years ago now. Mm -hmm. And I went to this shop in my neighborhood and they had like a beginner's like learn how to play night. And so I did that. And then one of my friends was like, let's do a campaign. So we did a one day campaign. And then uh, there's there's one, two, five of us. And we were all like, okay, let's just start one where we can do, we know we'll meet every other week. Mm-hmm. And, and so you're still doing been, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so and you one, haven't missed one? or um, I, We've definitely missed ones, but it's gotten to the point where, like, when I was filming, we thought about, like, Skyping in, and we oh, have yeah. had people Skype in oh, that wow. haven't been able to, that weren't in L.A. at the time. Because um, we're like, we just don't want to miss. You guys are so serious about this? It. Yeah. It's so cute. Okay. It's great, because when you miss, like, more than two weeks, you notice it when you come yeah. back. You're like, wait, what happened? What's missing? Like, whoever's taking the notes has to be really, really good yeah. and refresh everybody. And our our DM's great, but um, it's like I just I just like being able to see each other more often. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like another way to game. Like you don't have to do the the PC gaming. Yeah, or, you know, you just do it in person. And I think it's like what I love about it so much is that it can be as creative as you want it to be. Yeah, when you're you can either do a voice. You don't have to do a voice. You can. Right. Play out the character as if, you know, like yeah. either you're talking as yourself and my character would do this. And I've played with people where it's mm-hmm. like they have a voice and they never go out of it the yeah. whole time you're gaming. Yeah. Um, which, you know, when you work with actors or voiceover people, Amazing. it's like it's insane the best. to get to play. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's why uh, the D&D show, oh, fuck, now I'm going to forget. Critical the, Role. And I totally just swore. What? Under what? my breath, though, what? so nobody heard what? it. What? Critical Role, that's right. Yep, she oh, called what? herself out. I oh. did, I totally said that. I said, oh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> it's okay, we're good. We're skipping this one. Uh, no, so yeah, so I feel like that popularity and the fact that you can have legit actors on this and make it yeah. so entertaining. Yeah. And um, one of the things that it does do is like simultaneously, it like practices your creativity it as an really actor. Does. Yeah. I remember the first time I played, I was nervous because I was like, oh, am I going to have to do a voice? Like, what do I have to yeah. do? And they're like, oh, you just like crit rolled. Like, what happened? And I'm like, I took the knife and then I ran under the dragon and I got at him and was that okay? Yeah. Like, and everyone's <laughs> like, how this works? Yeah. Um, so that kind of stuff, like you just get, the more you play, the more comfortable you get, the yeah. more playful you can be with it, which I love. Yeah. And it is this like feeling, because I've done a couple campaigns with some people. I did a Star Wars one. I did Pathfinder. But um, the thing is, like, you'll have these moments where everyone's, like, so excited yeah. about what just happened. Yeah. You really get into the story <laughs> on a level that I don't think you really get on any other kind of medium. Yeah. We yeah. will spend... I'm not kidding you. Sometimes we sit and talk for half an hour about oh my how we would like to enter yeah. the battle. Yeah. What order are we going in? No, no. You the should not go first. Yeah. Like you, <laughs> the back and forth. you're our meat shield. You you go first. You can't go last. But I'm sneaky. It's I have to be yeah. first. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. It takes. It's it like takes the arguing, a while but yeah. um, and you can just like have some good food and like yeah. chill out. It's a hangout. Mm-hmm. It's totally fun. It's great. way to play. I love it. I love it too. Uh, it makes me want to like go back to doing it actually. Mm-hmm. So hopefully Kyle does have this thing where he wants to start like to DM and. So hopefully we can start getting into well, it some more. Got all those brand new. Now we got some Magic it. the Gathering stuff, so we're yeah. hooked up. Yeah, yeah. I, Magic for me, I love it yeah. so much, and I got completely addicted and love going to like I'll go to the shop and sometimes do oh, tournaments. Yeah. And the first time I like won you do one tournaments. Game. 
Really? I mean, not, not me for more. like money or anything, just right. for fun. That's cool. Where do you go for that? In <laughs> LA? Are, yeah, there's, I mean, like a lot of the shops will do it, but there's a place called Emerald Nights that I go to a lot. Mm. Um, and we'll play I think there. I heard and, of that one. Yeah, it's, it's super fun. You just sit there all day and you go through and you play different people. And Do you go with different people? Or I do mean, you go with friends? I've gone uh, by myself before. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> but I've gone with groups, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's great when you go with other people, obviously. Of course. then you can, like, check back in and be like, oh, how did, because you build your deck that day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's usually when the new cards come out. Yeah. Um, that I'll go and play. And it's it's just so much fun because it uses different parts of your brain. I remember I was playing with this one kid who, he must have been, like, 10 or 11. Aww. And he knew every single card. And I was, I, he demolished me. <laughs> and at the end of the game, he was like, can I look at your deck and your cards and help you make a better deck? And I was oh like, Oh my god! Yes, please, eleven-year-old who's yeah. amazing at yeah. this. And then afterwards, I won a couple games, and I was like, That's this amazing! Is fun. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. You almost got like an expert level I like did. tutorial And he there. plays like he goes to Vegas. What? Where it's like there's big Serious. money or like big competitions. He could yeah. be like a millionaire Magic yeah. the Gathering player. Yeah. You don't even know. Yeah, he was definitely like. The fact that he could remember every single card yeah. was crazy to me. Because the I know. deck had only come out that day, and yeah. you can see everything online. But It's I really hard to remember all those things, and all the details, yeah. what they do. Well, and and like, then there's a dynamic, because a new deck comes out, and it's like, okay, well, this card works with this card. You yeah. need to get this many of this card in your deck, otherwise it's not worth having. It's, and a, whole, all of that. Yeah, it's a whole other language. Yeah. Like, you have to, yeah, you have to remember everything, and you have to, like, make the equations work. Yep. And it changes all the time. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, do you have any uh, projects that are coming up that you want to talk about, or can you think? Yeah, I mean, I think the most exciting one right now is like where I was talking about. You know, just I like to continue to grow and push myself. Uh -huh. and, um, it just got announced, but the Netflix Master of the Universe Revelation. Oh my God! Yes, series. Yeah, yes, I'm really excited about You're that. You're a huge part of that. Yeah. I saw. Yeah, that's incredible. It was it was crazy because so I auditioned for it and I don't know how like I just kind of I've done voiceover in video games but I hadn't done you a series. You were in Gears. Yet. Yes, I, I saw. was in Gears that's and amazing. I did um, Lego DC villains. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is the first time doing a series and. You know, you get auditions and you submit, and you're like, I don't know. You do the voiceover, send yeah. it in, and you, you throw you away the rock out. of emotion. Yeah. And you let go of the and feeling of wanting it. Forget and, about it. Yeah, you're like, maybe I'll get it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I won't. If I do, it's a surprise. Yeah, yeah. and you know, I I feel very lucky to yeah. have gotten to work with Kevin Smith before. Of and course, he was helming this project, and so I'm like, oh, it'd be really great to get to work with him on this project. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up getting the call that I booked it, and I was blown away just because. One, I was so excited to get to do it, and then there's always that feeling of panic of, oh my god, I booked this. Can I actually do this? Do I have do I? the schedule yeah. space? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're just like, I've never done this before. Yeah. I've never, you know, where you get into the room, and you, I, I'm really lucky to know a lot of incredible voiceover actors, and this is like whenever anybody asks me for advice, I'm like, this is the biggest piece of advice I have is if you know people who are great at what they do and you're about to do it, ask them for help. Yeah. Like, ask there's them no for shame in any that. piece of advice that you possibly can yeah. because... It's like, if I can take something that they learned mm -hmm. along the way and take it in from the beginning, I will do that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I booked that, and then I think it was just last week, actually, that the casting announcement came out. Yeah, I remember. And I didn't even know the whole cast. <gasps> so once it came out, I was like, oh, my God. I'm going to be in with these people? <laughs> yeah, I Ooh. mean, because it's like Mark Hamill. Lee I know, Katie. huge yeah, people. It's, it's such a great cast, and everyone's so talented, and mm -hmm. um, I can't wait to kind of, you know, see what the show ends up being. Because I, I love Castlevania yeah. on Netflix. And so it's good. the same animation team, oh my God. Powerhouse. Um, so you yeah, hit the jackpot. Yeah. So Congratulations. Really, really lucky. And yeah. It's one of those things, too, where I grew up loving all those cartoons. So mm -hmm. I have, which I, I have to post it at some point, but I found a picture of myself, and I must have been in, like, fifth or sixth grade. Yeah. It's my school picture. Little baby Tiffany. And I'm holding, like, uh, I think her, mer, 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 it's not mermaid. No, obviously. Uh, Mer Merman? something. <laughs> no, it's from She-Ra. Oh, she It's she like a mermaid, She-Ra action figure yeah, yeah, yeah. that I would like never put down. And so I was holding her in my mm. photo and I was like, this is, I'm a huge believer in like putting out into the world what you want and vision boards and manifesting things. Yeah. And I was like, baby Tiffany manifested this. She did. <laughs> like, Somehow she's had some insight yeah, yeah. to make this part of your future. Yeah. Holy Mermista. cow. Yes, yes, it's Mermista. Mermista, yeah, there it. you go. That's it. Thanks to our crew. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool because um, you kind of, you never know how these things will go, especially with jobs in this industry. They, are, they come and go so quickly, and it's amazing that you got this. Yeah, and it's, yeah. you know, I feel, like I was saying before, it's, you get to watch people growing in their mm -hmm. careers too, 
And so it's like, you know, a couple of the writers, like I know Mark Bernardin mm -hmm. and Eric Crosco and Dia, who's on who's one of the writers as well. And yeah. seeing all of their careers and then getting to work on this project together mm -hmm. is it's just a dream. Yeah, and you don't know how so many cool. seasons this could go for. I don't I don't know. They don't tell me anything. Like, yeah. I literally was like, Can I talk about this shit? Right. Yes. Like I I'm remember, always like that too. Yeah. I'm like, is there something that I can or can't yeah. say or how should I Well yeah. and the announcement came out and I was like Am I allowed to repost the announcement? <laughs> That's okay, right? If it's yeah. already out there, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's totally good. Um, so then after this project, do you have anything else going on in the hosting world or anything like that? So right now, it's it's I'm still doing stuff. Because you're still D DC, right? Yeah, I still do, do stuff at DC Universe. Um, DC or Marvel? I know. This is what I say. Good. I practice superhero diplomacy. I like it. <laughs> and I have I like forever. Because I'm like, if you have good artists, good story, good characters, I'm going to enjoy the comic. Yeah. And I think, there, you know, it's a playful, fun thing that there's a competition, but really, they're both wonderful. They have such talent. And there's artists and writers that work for both On of them. On all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you so. don't have, like, do you have an affinity maybe towards Marvel some more? Like, I don't know. I'm not trying to pry, like, for a headline or anything. I, I but, like, I mean, obviously, I've been working with DC for a really long time. Yeah. And I feel they're, it, it's a family because yeah. I've gotten to, I mean, how many years has it been? It's yeah. been a really long time. We started with DC All Access, and now it's DC Universe. And Where so can seeing, people see it? DC you Universe. can see DC Universe. You download that app, or oh, yeah, yeah. you know, you can subscribe, or they have some of the stuff on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, go to U DC Universe on social media, and, you and you'll see find all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. So it's been it's been really cool. So I definitely I I love them both. I will go to premieres for both of them because. Mm -hmm. I'm as just as excited as everyone else to see the Marvel ones as I am to see the DC ones. For sure. Yeah. So it's been, I feel really lucky that I get to kind of play with Still those. be in that world. Yeah. 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 And also still do the hosting thing even while you're doing yeah. this acting stuff. Yeah. It's been, I know that it's different and a lot of times it's like, choose one or the other. And I just feel really lucky that I haven't quite had to do that yet. Yeah. And, you know, I want, look at people like Aisha Tyler and I'm like, she hosts and acts Everything. and directs and produces and writes and mm -hmm. has a podcast. And I'm like, if she can do it, like... Dang, you yeah, know, and you can do it. So many people now are multi hyphenates. Like for sure, you wear many hats. Just a host. No, like how many different other things? Could so you many different hats. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I get that world for yeah. sure. Um, so let's talk about your Meghan Markle portrayal. <laughs> okay, we have a trailer. I think we should just show it so you guys get a sense of what it was like because I think that was pretty cool. Yeah, um, it that, was. What did you say? It was your biggest project from last year. Oh. It was my biggest project acting ever. Ever, I okay. Mean, it was my first lead in a feature. Yeah, and um, you get to play such an iconic character. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look at that trailer, and we'll be right back. Da, 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 da. I just feel like I'm pretending to be this beautiful swan. It's got to be hard to look at yourself in the mirror and all you see is a hypocrite. <sighs> You'll never be able to control everything. I'm still waiting on that curtsy. Of course. Harry and Meghan becoming royal premieres Memorial Day at eight on Lifetime. There it is, the little Lifetime teaser for you. Yeah, I love it. That so Thank good. You. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> very very cool. Thank and you. now Thank they're you. up in Canada. I mean, yeah. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I don't actually know where they are either, but I think it's Vancouver or something. Well, we filmed in Vancouver, and so now That's it's perfect. like, yeah, everyone's joking. They're like, if we do another one, like. Would it be in Vancouver? And I was like, that would just be weird. That would like, be weird. You're in the same city as them. Actually, maybe they, then they could do like cameos yeah, for well, their I, own I was movie. kidding. I was like, uh, do I have to audition against the real her if yeah. there's another? <laughs> I know. Wouldn't that be weird? Like, She's obviously, like, I just play myself. <laughs> right. Is she is an actress. Yeah. Well, it does work. Yeah. Uh, that was that was a really really crazy amazing experience because I just I for a how long, long time, were you gone? I was gone for about a month. Okay. Um, and it was like two weeks, and the teaser came out, which oh, is not wow. normal for films no. at all. Usually, it takes a lot longer. You know, you shoot, and then it's like a year, at least six months. But um, the turnaround was really, really fast. The teaser came out, and then like I think like maybe a couple weeks after that, I was doing mm -hmm. the press tour, and the movie came out, and mm -hmm. it was wonderful because I didn't have to wait. Yeah. Um, and this is so cheesy, but I when I saw the first full trailer, I. I like teared up because I was like, oh, oh my god, I'm not bad. Yeah, you're like I'm proud of myself. <laughs> like, not like you know because you're trying something new and you're like, well, maybe when I watch it, I'm gonna pick myself apart ton. Yeah. Um, and I had friends who were like, let's watch it together, and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna want to watch it with people. I'm, I'm gonna watch it by myself, and yeah. then like, which I did. I watched by myself, and then I went over to a girlfriend's house, and we all watched as a big group, which was so much fun. Oh my god. Yeah. I could only imagine. Yeah. You must have been like, this 
me, guys. Yeah, that's me it was on the it was crazy, and I, it's funny because there's so many people who are so connected mm-hmm. with them and their oh, story. Oh, for sure. Yeah, people that like. I yeah. wouldn't expect would come up to me and like, is her dad going to be in it? Oh. Like, are you going to do this? Is this right. going to be in it? I was like, right. how do you even know all of this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was really great. And I think for me too, it was it was a great experience because I am a multiracial person. Uh-huh. You know? And so seeing their relationship and then talking with my mom and dad about their experience and getting married in LA and you know what they went through, mm-hmm. it was really cool to get to kind of, one, connect with my parents more, but then also get to connect with their relationship yeah. more in ways because yeah. I'm like, wow, it's it just makes me love the both of them even more. And no, I've not met them yet or talked Aww. to them. Yeah, before. I'm sure you get that question all <laughs> yeah. the time. And yeah. plus you did so much press afterwards, I saw. Yeah. So I can imagine you just got like these repetitive questions. It was, uh. the press tour was amazing. Everyone was so kind. Um, it was it like, it was a literal whirlwind. I joked that I was like, doing that movie was like grad school for acting. Cause oh yeah. I got up there, we I hadn't met my co-star. Oh, um, what? Charlie. Yeah. Okay. We, he was cast after I was, and he lives in London, so mm. got to Vancouver, and then he got there, and they were like, "So you guys are in this movie together?" We're like, "Make the hey. chemistry, guys. Yeah. Have fun." Yeah. That's and, crazy. Uh, we were in Vancouver, and I was like, "We we were fortunate enough to get there a week earlier before shooting because mm-hmm. they wanted us to meet, and I had to get fit for a custom yeah. wedding dress." Oh. Um, and so we met, and then it was crazy because so gears. Rod Ferguson yeah, 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 and I yeah. know each other. And yeah. so when I was going up to Vancouver, he's like, do you ever want to go to a hockey game? And I was like, yeah. yeah. So he's like, I have some tickets for you. And so as soon as I met Charlie, I was like, my friend gave me hockey tickets. I don't care if you don't want to go or not, but I feel like this is a good bonding experience. Let's go see a hockey game. That was be um, perfect. Yeah. What a Canadian experience. It was, it was awesome and so yeah. nice of him to do that. Totally. Um, so we went and we had a blast. And fortunately for us, we got along really well. Okay, good. And I was just actually in London for the Birds of Prey premiere. And so oh. I got to hang out with him. And yeah, so it's, it's it was... Again, I feel super, super lucky mm-hmm. that everything worked out really well, and we yeah. felt like a really, we built a really good team bond, and mm-hmm. so, um, and everybody on the cast and crew was so fantastic, and you know, even so, the first film that came mm-hmm. out, there was another actress in that movie, Parisa. Oh, that's right, I saw who's some in the center right now, so uh, definitely okay. watch that. She's so good. Mm. Um, so I felt really lucky because it's rare that someone yeah. plays a role that you're going to play. Because mm-hmm. um, you're like, we're kind of the same. Yeah. No hard feelings. Yeah. yeah. But she was, she was working another job, so that was, you know, she couldn't do it. And yeah. so I reached out to a friend that knew her, and I was like, hey, do you think she'd want to chat with me? Just and, for prep. Yeah. And That's we good. talked on the phone for like four hours. And what? Like, yeah. That's we insane. just, we get along so well. And I'm like, it's actually not that weird because we both got cast to play the same person. And so you kind of assume there's a little bit of a similar similarity. Energy. Yeah. Um, and it's just been really cool to kind of support each other along the way because I think a lot, you know, working in entertainment and things where you have to audition, it's competitive. A lot of people think it's competitive. And mm-hmm. I, I feel super. I just, I don't, I don't get competitive. I'm like, if it's their job, it's their job. If it's my job, it's my job. And if someone else books it, then it's like, okay, it's just because there's something that's better for me, that my job is coming. And, you know, I constantly remind myself that there's more than enough work for all of us. There is. It's not finite. Yeah. Yeah. And then the flip side is like, when I'm in a bad mood, I'm like, well, if she booked that, then she's too busy to do this other thing. (laughs) So, ha ha, Um, I got a one up on her. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's been, I, I feel like there's a lot more camaraderie in mm-hmm. the industry and acting and hosting it's changed a bit. a lot of people think. And I think it's just what energy you put out there, you know, because I'm sure there is still the competitive side of things, but I, I am not that. And mm-hmm. so I, I feel like it kind of attracts people that are the same. similar. Yeah. yeah, totally. I yeah. feel like the industry is like that too, and that they don't want people who are just going to be mean or, or, you know, jealous of other yeah. people. Well, and I think it's, you know, you know, I was saying this to a friend the other day, and I was like, anything that you do on camera, people see you in front of the camera, mm-hmm. but it takes an entire team. Totally. Like, I, when I went to Syracuse for broadcast journalism, our last semester of our senior year, you had to do every position on a news broadcast. Oh, wow. And I was like, like everything. Yeah. <laughs> so one week as producer, one week it was like you were doing editing, one week you were <laughs> hosting and setting up all your interviews and everything. Oh, wow. And I quickly realized I don't love producing Mm because I don't like telling people what to do. (laughs) Um, But I was like... You're collaborator. Yeah, it takes an entire team. And so even for acting and stuff where, you know, I might book a role, but I go back and I'm like, well, this friend helped me to prep for the audition. This friend ran lines with me. This friend watched this movie with me or did a table read with me or did this Mm -hmm. thing. And I'm like, it takes all of those. Or I coached with this teacher. You know, it takes all of those pieces 
to get you to the position of being on camera. And then it takes the whole team of everybody on set. On where set to yeah, do the thing. Yeah. yeah. And that, that to me, I, I love that. I love uh -huh. being on set. And I told our crew the first day, like, not like I didn't step on set and was like, hello, this is my first leading movie. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I on the side, I would be like, hey, to, you know, our DP. I was like, hey, this is my first lead. So anything that I can do to help, like, please, mm. I'm so open. Good. I want to collaborate. I want this to be as easy and great as they love that, I for bet. all of us. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? It is, even though they're not in front of the camera, it's still their project, too. And True. So it's been Everyone's really doing awesome. this like whole thing, right? They're yeah. all the believers. Like everyone's believing in the story that needs to be told in their own way, and they're it's like we're all going in and doing yeah. this thing. So yeah, the yeah. passion and like the fact that everyone's trying to tell the same story as you essentially. Yeah. They just have different roles. Yep. Yeah. That's it's a crazy. Team sport. Totally is. Were you always like that growing up? Were you always like a teamster, somebody who liked working in groups? Yeah, did you find that that I was the part so. of your I or did you develop it I later? Don't, I want to say I'm not competitive, but I am competitive when I play Magic the Gathering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Video games are a whole other story. Or games in general. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But in life, like, I don't... I I didn't play sports growing up because... Okay. Well, I danced. I think because I don't like the competitive vibe of, like, feeling like yeah. I need to beat someone. Or but, if I lose, yeah. I should feel bad. Yeah, or, but also yeah. I played t-ball, and I think I probably got hit in the head, like, oh, too many every times. game. Yeah. Which, like, sounds <laughs> ridiculous, dodge but it's it. like t-ball. Like, yeah. I was running down, you know, from home to first base and literally bounced off my helmet. And I was Whew. like, this is... Too dangerous. It was just not, not my jam. I need my head. Just yeah. not my jam. <laughs> um, so I, on the athletic side, like I started taking dance and I took, mm -hmm. I've taken jazz, tap, ballet, yeah. pop modern, and that kind of stuff I love so much. Um, right. Because it just feels like freeing to me and doesn't I love feel dancing. competitive. No. With You're just supposed else, to have if fun. I'm terrible. Like, yeah. I'm, it's, I'm having fun. Like, yeah. As long as you get the choreography, like, somewhat Yeah. Good. But even then, like, <laughs> yesterday, so I've started doing this new thing where it's like, when I have something I'm stressed out about or mm -hmm. excited about, nervous, whatever, audition yeah. or a meeting or, like, I literally have a dance party by myself. And I did that yesterday before a big audition, and I just like literally danced for half an hour by Put myself. Put the music on. Yeah, no, like if anyone saw me, it would have been ridiculously embarrassing. But <laughs> okay, but this, this was yesterday. Yeah, same story. Okay, I was driving in traffic yesterday. I had to go to pick up something. Yeah, and um, it was really bad traffic. Like I was at a stoplight that was going red and green and red and green, like yeah. at least twenty times. So I was just like, I'm gonna blast some music. Yeah, and I'm gonna sing at the yeah. top of my lungs. Yeah, and I'm just gonna make this as fun as freaking possible. Yeah, and I. I did it, and yeah. I felt pretty, pretty cool. And, and I didn't what? care what anyone, if but anyone also, saw me. But also, if someone saw you, it probably made them so happy. I hope so. Like that's how I feel when I see people singing mm -hmm. in their cars. It just makes me smile. I love it. Yeah, I'm like, good. I'm glad you're enjoying your time and not just like, yeah. you know, because sometimes traffic, you feel like a robot. It's you know? traffic is not fun. It's not fun. So, so might as can. well make it as fun yeah. as possible if I you can. Agree. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. what I was doing. So I feel like we were maybe on the same vibe. Yep. Also, yesterday the weather was amazing. It was. What it the was. heck was going was on? Really good day there was yesterday. an energy. I mean, are you about that stuff? I am. It yeah. felt like yesterday <laughs> felt like a really good day. It's, yeah. Honestly, like the last two weeks, I always I try and do a word of the year instead of like a oh yeah uh, resolution. Yeah. Um, and I was like, it feels like the year kind of just started like mm -hmm. two weeks ago. True. Like, last week into this week, it's just started getting like really busier. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it feels like there is like a really positive, awesome. So the energy. word is awesome? No, no, no. My word this year is trust. Trust. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where yeah. did that come from? What was the inspiration? Um, I, I was kind of just trying to figure out like one, this industry is so it fluctuates so much, it changes so much. Mm -hmm. um, and so I really wanted to make sure that I trusted that I was in the right place, mm -hmm. that I'm meant to be here and this is what I'm meant to do. And Trust the um, universe. Yeah, yeah that's just trusting and, and trusting my gut because a lot of times, because there are so many outside things mm -hmm. and so much of our job is based on someone else yeah, choosing you for control. something. Mm -hmm. I was like, I need to just trust my gut and trust my instincts. And mm -hmm. um, and then the other part of it was that I'm like, I I... I think there is something innately in a lot of people where it's like someone gives you a compliment and you want to downplay it or you don't really listen and you hear right. negatives and it sticks in your head and you're like, that's not the no. way it should be. So mm -hmm. the other part of trust for me this year was trusting when people say positive things and yes. people who love me say things. It's like, I trust that that is true and I'm going to start seeing myself more that way. Good. That's so important. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's, cool. That's my word for the year. I like it. Yeah. No, it is so important. I think that you're right in that we'll say someone will say something positive and you'll be like, well, 
there's this thing that I kind of flubbed or yeah. this or wasn't that perfect but. or this wasn't that great or yeah, yeah, thanks, but, you know, it was all thanks to the team. It wasn't me. And yeah, you try to be like humble, but yeah. it sometimes backfires in that it's not as uplifting as it's meant to be. Like yeah. people say that to make you feel good. So yeah. why not just like embrace just accept that? accept it. Yeah. Just accept it. Totally. Um, when you start, okay, so the transition from hosting to acting, was there like a turning point you're like, because you, you said you were with your theatrical manager for six years. Yeah. What was the fourth year for you that, like what happened in the fourth year that you were like, I'm going to commit 100% to yeah. acting? Well, and then what I were think, the steps that you kind of took? I think, you know, I'd started, I was taking classes the whole time leading up to, mm. so not talking about, I'm an actor, but yeah. taking classes, because I really, I do think it's something, it's such a craft. and Improv is takes, so important too for hosting. Yeah, so. it takes so much work, mm -hmm. you know, and there are people who are just naturally incredibly gifted. Um, but I still think even then, it's like they're doing work to mm -hmm, get better or to grow and change and see what someone else does yeah. and learn from that. Yeah. Um, so I think it was, I I must have started auditioning more and DC, DC All Access had changed a little bit so we didn't have to be in there quite as often so I was able to go and audition a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, and the first thing that I booked was uh, Jane the Virgin. Oh yeah. Um, which was so much fun and it, that role was as like a reporter. Oh, so cool. it felt very, and it was like a Telemundo like over the top yeah. I was supposed to be, you know, like I think the clip was in the reel that you said. Like, so it worked. It, yeah, so like the Tom good Cruise moment jumping yeah, yeah. on the couch. So it, yeah. felt, it felt natural for me and mm -hmm. the everyone on set was so incredibly kind and supportive and sweet and yeah. so that helped to encourage me a lot. I was definitely, ner I always get nervous before new stuff. I can't, really? I, there's, <laughs> I like I sent my friend today because she was having a meeting. And I was like, "This is I use the Calm meditation app." Oh yeah. Um, and there's one that's like, right before you're doing a big performance. And so I do this little meditation thing usually before big stuff, along with now my dance parties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So good way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Jane the Virgin happened, and that was great and wonderful. And uh, after that, I started auditioning more and ended up doing Supernatural. I love that you were on Supernatural. So cool. Because that show. It's amazing. Yeah, it was. Are you like one of those fanboys, Supernatural? Like? I loved Supernatural. I had I had not seen everything okay. leading up to, yeah. so I did have to watch a little bit more to get caught up. It doesn't but. matter because, like, you know, up till season eight, even nine, like they're all amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're, you're good. It was so good. You get and, your fill. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I get to do magic and Zatanna is my favorite character. One day I will play her. Yeah. Um, but uh, manifesting. So I was like doing magic. I get to be like a magic yeah. wielder on this show. Amazing. And this this is still so if anybody's seen it or not, there's a scene where it's like, um, he's supposed to throw me like this gem necklace, and <laughs> I mean. I love it already. I don't play sports, right? Right, so, right. Uh, I see where this is going. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we're practicing, and they're like, can he, he like literally comes up to me, he's like, so can you play baseball? Do you play baseball? And I was like, no. Why? Don't ask me to throw anything. <laughs> um, they're like, because he's gonna have to throw you the necklace, and you're gonna have to catch it. And I was like, Awesome. Oh. And not only is it like, oh, there's a ball. It's like a gem on a chain. So it's like, woo. Doing this whole thing. As oh, my yeah. God. I caught it every single time. Yeah. I was like, yes. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Okay, good. So I so felt very good about that. What do you think happened there? Was it just like, you know what? I'm just going to freaking do it. I was in it. the zone. You were I in don't the know. Zone. I, I literally was like. Because, you know, everyone's waiting on you. And I'm yeah. like, if I mess this up more than once, like, Ugh, everyone's going to get put back in time. And I didn't want to do that. And I was like, okay, just focus, just focus. Just <laughs> I was like, keep your eye on the ball. Even if I don't catch the gem, at least I'll catch part of the chain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. So but you catch that, it every time. Yeah, I did. That's amazing. Yeah. That is the fear of, like, every actor. Because I've been on the set for a few projects, not any cra anything crazy, but I, I do get that feeling where you're like, oh, if I don't get this the right time, like, the first time, I'm wasting people's time. Because... Yeah. That's how it works. I mean, it's you know? everyone's everyone's working together, and so it's like if you do, and it's okay. Like, yeah, everyone has mess ups. For There's sure, people who you know yeah. sound might mess up, or yeah. the like camera on the dolly like. Glitches, There's always and, something that yeah, yeah ends up being. So you wanted? I just wanted to try my best to not. You crushed it. Yeah, I did. I was yeah. very happy. <laughs> um, and yeah, so Supernatural was awesome, and I think uh, when Harry and Meghan happened, it was, oh, gosh. It was, like I said, a year ago, mm -hmm. um, and I auditioned, and I remember being like, okay, I had just kind of, I'd come back from the holidays, and I was like, okay, I want to focus on acting where it's roles that feel really natural to who mm -hmm. I am, because mm -hmm. um, sometimes you get auditions, and it, it, it is acting, so you yeah. get to push yourself a lot, but yeah. I think that when you're starting out, it's like people want to know that they can trust you as an actor, mm -hmm. and at least this has been my experience, um, that if it's closer to who you are sometimes, it's a little bit easier to 
to have oh, people, belief. you know. Well, because it's the believability. Yeah. You already know yourself very yeah. well. Yeah, and so. I mean, I'm a magic wielder, so that's how I got Supernatural. Amazing. <laughs> no. So tell me, how do you get magic? <laughs> oh, how but, do you learn magic? <laughs> oh, I have taken classes mm. at the Magic Castle. Mm. Just one. Just this one. is incredible. Um, I have yet to go there. It's so much fun. Apparently it's really cool. It's so much fun, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so I auditioned for that role, and it was interesting because it's I'm not her, but it's like she went to school for publicity, public oh. international relations, and so... Similar it was pathways. Like, yeah, communications. She was in California and then moved, and I was like, okay, same kind of... Our parents are diverse, and so I was like, okay, there's that. And mm -hmm. so it felt like there was a lot more to what she did and where it's like, oh, I'm an actress and I'm a host. Mm -hmm. And so some of the stuff where it's even just how she speaks when she's in public or doing a speech or something came a little bit easier to me from doing the hosting yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's amazing. So, yeah, it was... It was, it was like the perfect fit. It, it, <laughs> it feels like, I think for a lot of people, when you book a role that, like, yeah. it it's the right... Everything happens, right time, right place. Like, there's no way I could have known that it's, I would be acting at the time that, and then the other actress couldn't do it. And, right. Yeah, it just worked out perfectly. It's mm -hmm. like people say, um, I think it's like lifting a rock and finding something. Like you have to just look up. Like there's no direct path really to get to yeah. where you are, especially in acting and in that world. Same thing with hosting in a lot of ways, but it's like you're, you're never, I can't tell somebody like this is the path to take because mm -hmm. this was just my unique way of yeah. finding the magic or finding yeah. the, the thing that worked. So That's I get so that. Um, questions from the audience as we like to do. Ooh. Tiff, will you be at PAX East? We were just talking about that on the news. Um, do you go to cons a lot? Do you do I, a lot of that? I go, I usually am at San Diego and New York. Um, do you have a favorite? I, hmm. I mean, San Diego Comic Con is mm -hmm. San Diego Comic Con. Very it's, special place. Yeah. It's, yeah. I Time always year. joke that I'm like, it's simultaneously my favorite and my least favorite week the of my craziest. life. The craziest. Because it's so much fun, but I come back and I'm so exhausted. Yeah. And, it's great because it's like summer camp where totally. everybody that you've ever worked with or is you there. Know, yeah, everyone in the industry. <laughs> yeah. And everyone's just there to have a great time. Mm -hmm. Um so San Diego's San Diego's a hard one to beat. It's up there. Yeah. Yeah. So no PAX East. No PAX East as of right now. But okay. I think I mean, I'm I'm looking into doing some more cons, especially like once this animated series comes out and stuff yeah. that I think I'll get to do a little more a little more in that world. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Star Wars is um, at a turning point. Did you get to talk to the cast? Uh, I. Ooh. Oh, you did. Yeah. Tiff, you talked to the cast. Let us know more oh, about yeah. what your experience was yeah. with them. Um, so that was an awesome interview because I, like I said earlier, I'm a huge Disneyland fan. Um, so when I got the call that was like, hey, so we're doing a Facebook li or a live stream with the cast. At and the, at it's going to be in front of the Millennium Falcon and Galaxy's Edge. I was like... Uh, yeah, like y there's nothing else that I need to know. You can pay me pennies, I will there. be there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it, it was so surreal because mm -hmm. literally at one point I'm sitting there and they're like, oh, by the way, you have to talk loud because the Falcon's going to make noise. And oh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so they can't turn off the sound for the Falcon. That's amazing. I'm like, this is so cool. As like, if they didn't have the power to be like, we need the sound off, guys. Yeah. This is our show. Because well, the park was still open. And yeah. They, so People it was, were still attending. Yeah. And they didn't, I think they didn't want to make it a huge deal because they didn't want to shut the park down for yeah. it. And so, yeah, it was it was really amazing to get to see the camaraderie of the cast, mm -hmm. how, how bonded and friendly they are all with each other in between yeah. moments. And... I think my favorite moment, and it's definitely in the interview, but was to have everybody at the same time, I counted them down to do a facial expression of how they felt about the movie. Oh, yeah. Um, or their emotion at the end of the movie. And so they all did it, and that was that was just that like... That has been so cool. Yeah, it was great. I mean, it's, it's one of those nerd moments where I pinch myself because I'm like, I... I feel like I'm still always going to be the fangirl. I know. And the fact that I get to talk to these people, I, I hope... Like, when I started hosting, my biggest... Hope was that I was like I want it to feel like your friends talking to these people. Mm -hmm. Like I, I am a huge fan too, and I want it to feel comfortable and ask the questions that you might want to ask, or you know, just have those playful moments. Like I said earlier, so have it be like an authentic yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, what movie franchise character would be your dream role? So we're talking about Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Any any other characters that you'd love to play? Yeah, I mean... Maybe even characters that have already been played by somebody yeah. that you just always wish. I love Lost Stars. Oh, the yeah? Stars one, so I was like, Sienna Ray, I would like to play. Okay. Um, that would be really, really cool. 
Um, I already mentioned Zatanna is one of my favorite characters. Of course, you're going to play her one day. Yes, we've already put that the out there that in the, the universe. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's always it's I always go back to Magic Builders because I love um, the Magic Order. Oh my god! From Mark Miller. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Uh, I love Cordelia Moonstone because I think she's kind of like the darker flip side to Zatanna. Oh my god, you uh, have to. Yeah, so <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, yeah. So those are the kind of ones that I love and I, I think you know it's more about franch like franchises was that one of the questions it was kind of the question it was more like what characters yeah. I mean it could be from any franchise I, I guess. love Fast and Furious oh my god I you would be a perfect fit for that love to be in a Fast and Furious you could totally movie. it was one of the first junkets I ever got to do an interview for it's probably gonna be like another 10 Fast yeah. and Furious so yeah. you've got a chance my fingers are so crossed. Yeah. I love cars. I love Vin Diesel. I love Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> oh, my God. You would um, be amazing I love, I love in that. The fam- like, if I'm being honest, I know that some the people message. are like, the movies are cheesy. Yeah, yeah. They are over-the-top ridiculous, mm-hmm. and I love every second of them, and yeah. I cannot wipe the smile off my face yeah. when I'm watching them. I feel like it's one of those things. Yeah. And so it makes me, like, I, it sounds funny, but I'm like, it's one of the reasons why I love acting, because mm-hmm. you can create a movie that people feel that way when they see totally. it. Totally. So... Yeah, it's, Fast and Furious, hopefully one day. That would be amazing. Yeah, the message of, like, it's always important to have a family, yeah. and the family comes first, and yes. all that stuff. There's not a lot of movies that do that. No. Mm. And what a movie to have the guts to do that, too. Like, Every an action-packed car movie. Dinner. For, yeah, exactly. It. It's so good. Yeah. Um, that's I love that that's what you said. <laughs> if uh, I have a friend, uh, Tim Geddes, on... Do you know Kind of Funny Guys? Yeah. Okay. So Tim Geddes, huge, fantastic... Um, uh, sorry, Fast and Furious fan, so yeah. I'm sure he would like freak yeah. out the fact that you oh, really want to be so part much. of it. I'm going to see. There's, uh, I, I'm, you can Google it, but there's a musical that puts all the movies together. Oh my god! That I'm going to with some friends, and I cannot wait. Where is I'm this so happening? Uh, this to... is what I can't remember. Darn I literally it. got the text message that was like, "Do you want to go to this?" And I was like, "Yes, buy me a ticket. I'll pay you." Back. Google where it is. <laughs> I'm working on it. Yeah. it sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, would you play a Mortal Kombat character? Tiff Jade would suit you. Okay. Yes. I would. I mean, that's from L. Ray. I, I love genre. So if it's sci-fi, fantasy, I mean, I would. You're in. I would love to do yeah. something. You've in already the done Star Trek world, and yeah. you know. So and I, I think part of the athletic stuff that I love is mm-hmm. dancing. And so every time, which I feel super, super lucky to get to do this, but I got to go to the John Wicks at one time, and so I got oh, yeah. to do some gunfighting with their stunt team. And, you know, I've gotten to do stuff with um, James Bamford, who's done stunt coordinating and directing Arrow and mm-hmm. whole, that whole universe. And um, so I love stunts. And yeah. on the Wonder Woman set, got to learn some yeah. stuff there. I remember and, seeing that. There was yeah. a lot in the reel, actually, of you, yeah. like, doing uh, uh, shooting range stunt or, like, practicing. Yeah. You were in a car. You were doing some. You took yeah. down some dude really quickly and effortlessly, yeah. effortlessly is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so... W- what got you into doing that side of the acting stuff? Was that something you always were like, okay, I'm doing this for two years. I'm going to do this from here on out 100%, so I need to do all that side training. Like, it is that something that they like, tell you to do? Or? No, I mean, one thing that I always, I like saying act as if. And if I want to have this job, I'm going to do what I would do if I had the job. Uh-huh. And so it's like, if I want to play a stunt person, like a action hero or I need like to that, learn. I need to start doing small things towards that now. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not getting the training that Keanu Reeves got. Right. But um, I try to do know. stuff to lead up to that. Mm-hmm. And I think, it, you know, being a host, you get to do some really cool things you where do. you go to sets and they'll teach you stuff. And I go back to, like, dancing. It's choreography, really. Yeah. And I love that. Mm-hmm. And so it felt like a new challenge where I'm like, ooh, one of my girlfriends, she told me, she's like, you're an adrenaline junkie. And I was like, no, I'm not. She's like, yes, you are. You like to try something that you're not sure you can do. You panic, and then you do it, and you're like, yeah, yeah. more. I could do it. is pretty true to who yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, That's good. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I've always thought to do that stuff myself, because like you said, as a host, you get to do these things. I did, like, you know, some airsoft shooting, and, like, yeah. I've done gun range every now and then, but I've never done the fighting thing. Yeah. We get into kickboxing a couple yeah. times and stuff. Yeah. Um, but that's, yeah, that's really cool. So it looks like we got the Fast and Furious, a musical parody address. I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the time of day... February 29th. That's coming up. Yep. All right. Yep. Last day of the I'm month. Very excited. Very That's excited. Cool. About you guys it. should Google it. Uh, definitely go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds awesome. Well, and I think it's so cool to live in LA because there's so much stuff like that that happens. Always. Where it's, you know, like last year, uh, I was I got to be a part of this thing called Rocky Horror Hipster Show. Oh my God. Uh, it was, it was Are you two a Rocky years Horror ago. fan? I am a Rocky Horror fan. Me but too. it was such a weird. It's so much fun. Cult, like so cult classic, fun. weird. Yeah. Like, why do people yeah. love this? But then you kind of understand it. You can't not like yeah. it. Yeah. 
Um, so they had been doing this musical musical performance mm -hmm. for a couple years, and one of the girls had moved away, and so a friend of mine was like, do you want to audition? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll try it. Right. Um, Steve Zaragoza was actually. Oh in my the God! I, I yeah, 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 Steve. Yeah, um, and it was at the three of three of clubs, three clubs, small club. Everyone's like all up on each other. It was such a cool experience. How long um, were or you? Just did one night, or what was? No, the... we did it for three or four nights, so a okay. full weekend. And the crazy part about it is now that it's you know the Maggie Levine who mm -hmm. she directed it. Mm -hmm. um, it's her and a bunch of her friends that started everything up. But she then ended up writing and directing this episode of the Bloom House into the Dark episode oh that I God. was on my Valentine. Yeah. Which if you guys have not watched it, watch it because it's awesome. It's yeah. so good. Um, and it's it's just it's cool. Like again, going back to seeing people grow and change. Where it's like we got to do that thing together and. None of us got paid. It was a free, fun thing. Yeah. And then now getting to do jobs where you're like, you're doing what, you're in your lane. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing and getting to do it together is so Even much the fun. better. Like, yeah. it's so much, yeah. It's such this collaborative, like, experience. Um, actually, you talked about being, having worked with Kevin Smith. Mm -hmm. What was this project that you worked on that you got to meet him and yeah. how did that relationship? So, I, I think the first time I ever interviewed Kevin was probably... Okay, you interviewed a con him. or something. Right, right. Yeah, um, probably then, Comic Con. He's yeah. usually there. S yeah, and then I know IMDb. I started doing. Um, we did a. There was a CW after show for the Flash oh, yeah. for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I did that and interviewed him on that, and w they did a release for um, Batman v Superman, mm -hmm. and he was doing interviews with Zack Snyder, and so oh, I got right, to right. meet them doing stuff with DC All Access for that. Oh yeah. And then. I had didn't see him for a while, but every time I saw him, he was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I remember I got a phone call that was a friend, a producer, who was like, "Hey, I'm working on this project. Um, it's for AMC, and uh, Kevin Smith is a part of it, and he recommended you." And I was oh, like, what? "I'm sorry, what?" Um, and this is how I this just, industry gets crazy. Yeah, like and when it, those magical like moments happen. Yeah. So yeah. we did a show called Geeking Out on AMC, and it was uh, Kevin, Greg Grunberg, and myself hosting. Mm -hmm. And it was such a great experience because I, I feel like it was so, I felt so flattered because Kevin was like, when they wanted a female host to come on, he's like, I know the perfect person. Yeah. He's like, she I know knows her. her shit. Yeah, she's together. She's got this. Oh, she said, she's four. I was speaking, I was speaking as someone else. Oh, man. As someone It's else. true. Yeah, I always try to come up with an excuse of like why the yeah. swear word doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't very clean, I was told. Oh my God! Oh, Good so catch, Colin. Had... Good was, catch, uh, Colin. I didn't quote, even catch it. So it was a put, quote. It was a quote. quote. So put it Kevin was a Smith. Quote. Quote. Kevin Smith quote. <laughs> yeah, we're making so much money. <laughs> this is all. It's our uh, Baby Yoda animatronics toy fund. Yeah. Um, that's hilarious. Good catch. I would have totally. That would have gone right over me. Like I would have not picked up on that. But is I mean, I'm uh, quoting anyway. <laughs> Kevin Smith, one dollar. All yeah. right, let's do it. <laughs> Um, so anyway, so he referred me for the job and was like, she That's knows incredible. her stuff. She knows her stuff. She knows things. Her stuff. Yeah. And I things. was so no flattered right. about that. You <laughs> That's know, amazing. I was like, for someone like Kevin where everyone knows that he mm -hmm. is, you know, like the king of geek, geek world. Oh, totally. For him to be like, she, did, she does know her stuff was really incredible. I know. So we did that show together and then, um... We it's you know we run into each other and mm -hmm. then this show happened and so it's been really cool to get to work together again. Yeah, yeah, man, it seems like you've done like all the cool jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't know. I I, I feel very lucky. Yeah. I'm not. I'm. I. It's. This is gonna sound so LA, but I don't. Care. I love journaling <laughs> and I love doing vision boards and I put people that I want to work with on it mm -hmm. and things that I want to do and jobs that I want to have and um, it. Is crazy how much of that stuff actually happens, and I think it's even just because I'm putting it out there, and so I start doing the action things that I can, and then mm -hmm. other things meet me where I'm at. Um, oh my gosh, yeah. And so, yeah, there's the power to that. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, like, when I look at where my career started and where I am now, I'm like, there's no way no. I could have guessed. I'm going to be the right age. I will have done Attack of the Show and be the right age to play Meghan Markle because she's going to marry Harry. Mm -hmm. And then what have are all the odds of that? Doors yeah. open where, you know, it's like, I, I feel. Good plan. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's all planned. She totally, yeah, it's everything. It's all of it. That's hilarious. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's. I, I definitely look at my career and pinch myself because I, I know how rare yeah. it is. And I 
love what I do, and I get to work with really freaking fun, interesting, smart people. Very cool people. Yeah, because you're us. one of them, and yes. us. <laughs> and That's that I'm here. Us, I'm here. By the way, <laughs> like, I mean, I got invited here because we know each other. Yeah, exactly. It's not because like, oh, work stuff. You know, it's like, right. It really, I think it's there are groups that vibe together because you have the same interests and you have the same energy and yeah. I don't know. I just want to keep putting, same passion. Yeah, I'm like just. More positivity, more happiness, more Bring joy. it all together. Yeah. Because then it just works for Tiffany's plans, and she gets all the cool things. It's true. <laughs> She's just <laughs> amazing. Um, okay, so I guess now the questions I wanted to ask, I guess we're more gaming-related, but do you follow any of that stuff? Like, are you big into, like, the Switch? Do you have a Switch? Like, do you play any of those types I of games? Don't That's don't okay. Any, like, portable That's totally fine. anything. Um, I have an Xbox One now, and like I said, I don't tell anyone my gamer name because I'm too embarrassed because I pl- I'm bad. I'm bad. I but I also playing, don't have. Bad. Okay, but I. So meaning you don't want to play with anybody. On yes, Xbox. because I don't want to be judged. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> it's fair. like competitive sports where yeah. I'm like, I don't want to play a competitive sport with anyone because I'm being judged as a team member. And when I play games like that, I'm like, eh, that's I, not for me. It's not yeah, for me. I like. I what like, about story based games? Do you play any of those? Um, I'm not playing any of them right now. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I also have like, you know, luckily this this show makes me play all these weird games. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, awesome I'd games. probably just be playing like the same games over and over. Like yeah. I love Goose Game. Like I don't know why that I game works for me. I still go back and play Halo. Yeah. I. I, I well, now they have Halo Reach, the mm-hmm. remastered mm-hmm. version. It's amazing. Yeah, totally yeah. worth going back to that and yeah. playing it again. Uh, bring it brings back amazing memories yeah. of that and now world. It's, you know, it's I'll play games more too because I know people who are doing places yeah. and stuff in them. Like, yeah, well, that's true. Uh, yeah, because well, you were in Gears. Did you play Gears? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I played some Gears. I was like, at least you played that one. I did for one. sure. I yeah, did yeah. for sure. Good. Um, and like one of my friends, he's. Alex in the new Call of mm. Duty game. Oh, perfect. Um, so playing that one where it's literally you're like that's your face. My, like you're yeah. in this game. In this it's game. It's not like it kind of looks like no, you. No, it, it is, is you. Yeah. It's like uh, we had Sam Witwer on same yeah, thing. Yeah. And he's in this whole game where basically he's just he's the protagonist throughout the whole thing. So yes. you see his face he's got all the games. time. And he's yeah. got multiple games. It's, yeah. his, it's <laughs> his face also yeah. in uh, Force Unleashed. I mean yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. He's so he's he, such a talented dude. And oh yeah. Talk about someone who knows so much about Star Wars, I get embarrassed I to even talk to him about it because I'm like, I can't I'm gonna say to... something and you're gonna be like, well, that's not correct. And I'm like, please tell me because I want to know what's yeah. correct. But you just know everything. He's uh, know he's like basically, it. if there was a wiki page, he'd be the yeah. wiki page for Star Wars. It's true. It's you just true. like ask him anything and he'll know. Yeah, yeah. that's so funny. Sam Wiki. Sam yeah. Wiki. It's there true. you go. It's true. Um, what are some other games maybe that you've played that people don't know you played? Um, I definitely, I played Mortal Kombat. I loved that one. I do a lot of, now I feel like I like to, it goes back to like I like being around people. Mm -hmm. So I've been going to a lot of the arcades that have been popping up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, There's a lot of barcades mm -hmm. too popping up. Yeah. We went to one and it was kind of crazy. Yeah. A lot of people. I will do Marvel vs. Capcom forever. Oh, nice. Yeah. I will play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mm -hmm. until like I literally, there was a Christmas vacation where I went home and we played until we beat the game. Like, Amazing. It would be like someone would drop out, get more quarters, and come back and keep playing. <laughs> um, we went to an arcade over the holidays with my family um, this year, and it was so much fun. What a fun. good way to celebrate yeah. or, like, to be with your family. And that's yeah. amazing. Yep. And it was, I mean, there was, like, we played, my mom and I played Pac-Man, which is great. Oh, yeah. Um, Classic. Yeah. Lots of pinball. Lots of pinball. Mm-hmm. I'm not that good at pinball. I don't get lucky. I don't know. I, I don't know what the thing is. I know there's luck. people who... It's, I don't even know, right? It's, it's like skill, yeah, I guess but it's I like can't quick, figure out what the skill is. I can't it's, figure out the It's a rhythm thing. game. It's a rhythm rhythm game. Yeah, okay. you kind of just... No, gotta like, sometimes, though, it literally just goes straight down yeah, the middle, you and can't there's do nothing it. I can do. That's yeah. a good point. Sometimes you don't Please explain. I don't know. I just... It's like getting into the grooves. If I have to have luck everywhere else except for in pinball, I'm fine. You're going to take it. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah. Question about interviews here. Um, which celeb interview surprised you the most? Hmm. Do you have one? Were there any standout ones? Maybe you were nervous for the interview? I mean, I think I always try and go into them and just think, you know, they're just people doing a job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we're all the same. I think more times, the more surprising moments have been when I've said something ridiculous or embarrassed myself, and then they'll... Go like with I, it. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I did, I remember doing an interview for Cloud Atlas, and it was Tom Hanks and Halle oh, Berry. Oh, wow, wow. Which, yeah. Those are some big ones. Yeah. Nice. And uh, she speaks a different language in the movie. Yeah. And so I was asking her about learning it, and next thing I know, she is, like, on my lap, like, <laughs> saying the lines this close to me, and I'm all I can think is, like, 
she is the most beautiful skin I've <laughs> ever seen in my wow, whole life. He just blacked yeah. out. He's like, yeah. oh. Yeah. And Tom Hanks is like sitting there like, yep, yeah, okay. This is like, like, oh, so crap, I died yeah. on the way to the interview. I'm in heaven. I'm here now. Um, Tom Hanks yeah. next to me, Halle yeah. Berry. Tom Hanks is just being Tom Hanks and like his lovely self where he's like, oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh. There goes right. Allie doing her thing. So is there footage of that somewhere? Oh yeah, it was it was definitely for G4. It okay, you guys can Google yeah. and probably find this online. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would love if you guys just like linked it to us on social media because then we can uh, yeah, that's, it's see what there. that whole experience yeah. looked like. That must have been an interesting. That one was really fun. And then I I have said like I I don't really curse that much. I don't really have like my brain doesn't really go to like the aunts, the the f's words and or the like my com a my words. my <laughs> sense of humor is not really blue usually. Oh yeah. Um, but so I was doing an interview for Fantastic Beasts and it was mm -hmm. Colin Farrell and if I booked a Harry Potter movie or anything where I was a wizard, I am practicing in front of my mirror yeah. how I use my wand. Yeah, okay. Right? This is good. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. He uses it very differently than any other wizard. Okay. He's very aggressive. Like, mm -hmm. other, it's like, like he like. Puts so, the force into yeah. it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm asking him these questions. I was like, how did you practice? I was like, you're very aggressive with your wand. And he's like, he starts laughing, and I'm like, I don't. I'm, I'm. Oh. <laughs> then I'm like, he's like, oh yeah, like it took practice, and he's like, I guess I had to have like Eddie there to do it or whatever, like that right. brought it out of me, right. and I was like, Cause it's like when he's like on the ground, I was like, I'll lay on the ground, and he was like, and that was the moment where I was like, oh no, I wasn't making that, oh. I wasn't, no, no, I was no, oh god, and then Colin's I turned like, bright. This happens red. everywhere. <laughs> I turned bright red and I was like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. And then it was like, we finished the interview and he's so kind and sweet. Like, he stood up to like do right. cheek kiss, whatever. And the mic was there and I like hit my head on it. I was like, oh, oh my God. I just like slowly backed out of This is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> wow. But I was like, and now when I like tell people, they're like, Tiffany, you had to know what you were saying. And I'm like, I did not. My head didn't get, my mind didn't go there. I genuinely yeah. was like, if I booked that, I would be in my room practicing to be like, does this look cool? Does this look cool? How can I make it different than what every other wizard does? Yeah, exactly. Like, like what's my wand thing? Yeah, yeah. But that's hilarious. But even what? just saying, like, how do you wield your wand sounds inappropriate. No, I know. <laughs> There's no way to say it differently, though. Did you practice wielding your wand in the mirror? <laughs> I can show me. <laughs> Hindsight is twenty twenty, guys. I love it. In the oh moment, I did God. not think that way. <laughs> That's too good. That's too good. That's um, too good. You know, yeah, I don't know if. So you it, did have some stories there yeah. for interviews. I, I know we're we're running out of time, but I okay. but I don't know if I missed it when I stepped out. Mm. But like, would you have a dream like video game character to play in the? Not movie? a video game. Well, we did kind of touch on that oh, a bit. Did. Yeah. But, oh my um, bad. I said Zatanna is my yeah. ultimate. Yeah. The okay. Just Let's see if I crash or burn. It's the DC uh, magician character, right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. 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 This would yeah. be good. From, I, I remember she was in Injustice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was really yep. good. Well, she's actually going to play that character. She's it's already fantastic. put it out there in the universe. In the universe. The plan's going to work. Amazing. Perfect. <laughs> That's why I took classes at the Magic Castle. Oh, I love it. Perfect. Yeah. I think that wraps up our interview because oh. that, was, that was the perfect you know, way to button it up. Um, you are awesome. Yeah, I wasn't lying in my tweet when I say that I admire you. You're amazing at what you're doing, at what you do, just in general, everything, whether it's hosting, acting, kicking butt. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say the A word. General kicking butt. General kicking butt. I like it. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for coming. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I was to be so here. nervous because it's pilot season for you. Oh, I like. So when you asked, I was like, I feel so bad. I want to yeah. come, but I was like, Ugh. I was like, I really hope she can make it. Yeah. Okay, but I have a backup in case. Yeah. Um, because yeah, that was. That was a bit intense there. You're like, I don't know, because pilot season's crazy and unpredictable. Yeah. And Every day has been an adventure, and it's yeah. been wonderful. And you have an audition on Monday. You're going to crush it. Yeah. I'm I excited. I feel, I just get excited because I'm like, as geeky as I am about the auditions, I, I get even more excited to be like, oh my gosh, guys, I'm playing this role. Yeah. Because it feels like I'm telling family. When yeah. I'm getting to share it with everybody. So. It's true. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, everybody go follow Tiffany underscore Smith. Yes. On social, on everything. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, and check out all the awesome stuff she's doing. I'm sure there's even bigger announcements coming down our way. <laughs> um, you're amazing. So, guys, thank, thank you so you. much for tuning in. Thank um, you guys. Yes, and thank you for watching. I, I hope you guys will tune in for next week's guest. We have another awesome guest planned. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in every Friday, and I will see you guys. Have a great weekend. It is the re Bye. weekend, and it's Friday. Friday. Bye. Bye. Bye.